What's up everybody? This is Jamie since Feb Ibig pa rin naman. Okay, so today I'll be sharing to you what are the things that I and John considered before entering relationship. Well, these are just guidelines. You can take some, you can get some, take away all, or not get everything. We don't box God here, but uh, I just want to share. Number one is of course the word of god well medyo spiritual but i don't care because one of the directional book if gusto mo talagang you know ng direction sa buhay and even sa love life you gotta read the word of god dami daming love stories sa bible honestly na nakatulong sa akin as i read it as i study it na talagang when ah, anong nabasa ko siya, talagang nakatulong sa akin na, ah, ito pala yung pattern, ito pala yung at least yung mga what to consider, ito pala yung mga sta some standards na pwede mong i-adapt before you enter relationship. So, first things first, you gotta know, gotta read the word of the Lord. Second, of course, after knowing the word of God, you gotta know or consider godly counsels because you can't decide. Actually, basically, ang hirap mag-decide mag-isa. Ang hirap din pagkatiwalaan ng sarili mo lang na decision. So, what we considered is that we really talk to people na alam namin na makakatulong sa amin or before entering relationship. Uh, of course, godly counsels means what? It could be, you know, someone who is more matured, spiritually matured than you. So this could be, again, your parents, your pastors, your mentors. And somehow, yung alam mong, um, I have a happy marriage or tested marriage um, and for this, makakatulong talaga sila sa atin. Well, millennials, hindi na totoo yung you and me against the world kind of relationship. Because relationship is meant to be celebrated. And, di ba, ang, ang ganda naman ng relationship na lahat masaya, no one's against you. Hindi ba mas maganda that your relationship is celebrated by the people around you? So, second thing talaga na talagang kinonsider ko is, of course, approved ng parents, approved ng pastor ko, approved even ng mga mentees ko, ng mga tinuturuan ko, ng mga dinidisciple ko, and yun, diba? Sobrang saya ng relasyon na lahat masaya. So after asking God for His Word, asking Godly counsels, eto na. Number three is the circumstances or the situation. Uh, I remember the very first love story in the Bible. Si God mismo yung nagdala kay Eve to Adam. And same as with us, circumstances. Hayaan mo na si God mismo yung magdala sa inyong dalawa through a circumstances or through a situation. I remember the time when I first saw John. I know it was really the Lord who put the both of us sa isang lugar. And number one, nag-meet kami sa binyag. But after two years pa ulit kami, second na nag-meet. Grabe yung circumstances noon kasi si God mismo, alam ko, si God mismo nagdala para ipag-meet kaming dalawa through a network. So, binigyan niya ako ng project sa isang network. And then, at the same time, binigyan din si John ng project sa isang network. So, how come that will happen? I mean, that's a miracle. And, ganun si God gumawa ng love story. Well, different ways, um, different scenarios, dif different circumstances. But all I know is that He Himself will put your hands together at the right time. Kaya nga, di ba, um, yung parang magtaka ka, bakit mong pinagpipilitan yung sitwasyon? Bakit, bakit kailangan, di ba, parang parating, parating bayhad lang tapos pagpipilitan natin? No, you don't need to do that for love because 
when when you know that it is from the Lord he himself yes he himself will draw you closer together through a circumstances fourth is unmistakable peace well ito lang yung sobrang naramdaman ko nun, na i feel at home every time i'm with him alam mo yung feeling na ang sarap matulog tapos excited ka gumising and then yung feeling din na wala kang kinakabahala you don't need to defend him to anyone because alam mo na alam mo lang na tama unmistakable peace is ano of course it it comes from the lord Walang trouble sa isip mo, walang trouble sa puso mo. Well, of course, hindi naman siya perfect, may mga roller coaster rides, pero basta alam mo lang na hindi perpekto, pero alam mo lang sa puso mo na tama. So, I really did consider the unmistakable peace in my heart. Kasi, 'di ba, ang sarap-sarap naman na pumasok ka sa relationship na may peace ka lang sa puso mo. <coughs> Fifth is common goals and common values. Well, before I really enter the relationship, I see to it na at least meron kaming common mission or meron kaming pagkakaparehas. Well, naririnig niyo yung opposite attracts, but not, no, hindi siya applicable to everything, to every situation sa relationship. Because marriage is about common mission. Bakit nagsistay ang dalawang mag-asawa? For a common mission. Why? Because of a child. And a relationship will stay longer kasi alam yung dalawa na meron kayong ginagawa na magkaparehas. Okay? For example, what are the things that we could consider about this one? If for me, example, if for me, um, Worship every Sunday is important. Then why not look for someone for men and for girls who wait for someone who has the same principles or values with you? Na importante rin sa kanya yung Sunday worship. Or for me, let's say for example, importante talaga sa akin ang magserve kay God. So why not pray and wait for someone na Vina value din niya and importante rin sa kanya yung pag-serve kay God. Diba? Now, we're married. Sobrang ganda lang na ang dami niyong napag-uusapan because you have common grounds, you have common mission, you have common values, and you have common goals na ginagawa ninyo during relationship and during marriage. But remember that at the end of the day, it's still your choice. Well, of course, God will guide you. Godly counsels will advise things for you. But at the end of the day, ikaw pa rin yung pipili ng makakasama mo habang buhay. So always do pray sick and don't depend on your emotions make sure that when you choose when you decide of course parating nasa tama wag lang puro emotion pero dapat gamit na yung utak and of course maganda na at least narinig mo kay god there you have it guys again happy valentine's day sa mga single na nag celebrate ng feb 14 and sa mga in a relationship and married, eh, di kayo na. <laughs> okay, well, don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, please do comment down below anything that you want to hear from me, any tips that you, can, you want to hear from me. And of course, don't forget to enjoy, honor, and maximize your season. So, until the next vlog.